Okay, so I just turned off of 101. I'm about hmm, probably five miles north of the north end of Fred Meyer, of Florence, which we consider Fred Myers. I turned on Levage. Let's see if I can get my, there we go. And I'm gonna make a left on Shorecrest. This is, so I moved here 19 years ago. 19 years ago, I wouldn't be out here. It was really rough. It's getting better. I don't wanna, you know, taint this whole neighborhood because it is cute. But I'm going to show you what's not so cute about it because, well, that's my job in my opinion is to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly so that you walk into every situation. You know, there's some really cute manufactured homes here that are like well taken care of, that families live in, that is really, really nice. Then we have these kinds of things. And you know, probably an investor is going to buy that and make it really cute. And that's kind of what's happening around here is that we're seeing, but you know, we have somebody living in an RV. You know, but we, we have people coming in and making this really nice and there is lake access right down the road and it could be really, really cute up here. Um, it's just, there's some rough spots in here and it kind of is rough and then it's really nice. Um, I hope I'm going, I think I'm going the right way. I just wanted to show you this kind of neighborhood area. Driving and videoing is always a little on the tough side. You know, so clean, single wide, older single wide, but nice and clean. But then we have, you know, not so nice and clean. So this is View Drive. And this is a cute little street up here. So, you know, and it, you get up here and you've got some, you know, view to it and it's definitely the high rent district out here I guess I would say and there are definitely cute little places out here I never want to totally bash a neighborhood but it's just a little interesting and the downfall to it being interesting is that you're in the county and that means you're waiting for a sheriff and the sheriff comes from Springfield which is an hour and a half away so you know, if you ever needed that, that's a thought process to have. Let's see. So, you know, these are cute little homes up here. Really nice, well manicured homes. Someone is calling me. And this is the cute little one right here that's on the market. And it is adorable and it is so cute and lovely and well maintained and the yard is adorable. And if you come in the way I came in, it's great. Absolutely wonderful. But you come down here and see, this used to be like a really junky old single wide that someone's come in and ripped out and is probably gonna do something really nice with it, um, which is great. And we need development and we need those things, but I'm just not sure, you know, if this was something super temporary and then you decide to rent it for sure, um, you know, we have the lovely folks down here on North that have had tarps on their roof for the last couple years. And then I'm going to drive you right around here because, um, this is the other neighborhood eyesore. But you know, like I know the people that live right across the street from them and they're the nicest people and their place is so cute and well-maintained and that live up there on the hill. You know, really cute places. And then you have this. And that's the unfortunate part of being out here. So if, you, I'm gonna upload this video. If you still would like to, um, for me to make an appointment to see the house, I am more than willing to. I'm not, you know, it's a total personal preference. If this, you know, if that bothers you, then we'll move on. If it doesn't, let's make an appointment and see the house because the house is so adorable. And of course, because the neighborhood is priced really, really well.